Hi there, my name is Jacinta Kemani. I am a pastor and a staff at the Scripture Union of Kenya, heading the Family Ministry Department. Today we in focus, Uliza focus, we are asking, why is today too hard? This is a question that already indicates that there are life issues that poses and makes life to be difficult to deal with. It is a very relevant question because the month of May is a month we are discussing and creating awareness about matters, mental health. There are so many issues that bring, make life to be hard. There are many issues, especially in this context where we are looking at young people, especially in the institutions of higher learning. There are issues of transition, issues of change of environment, social interactions, issues of finance, issues of relationships, and family and otherwise. These are the issues that possibly causes life to be hard. However, every person sees that question differently and also responds to it differently because there are so many factors that determine why we say life is hard. Among the students, there are very key things and three among them that poses a challenge or are a cause, are, are issues that appear or come to be when life is too hard. There are different issues that causes us to be, to say that life is hard or to experience stuckness of our my, uh, my, uh, mental well-being. There are issues to do with psychological uh, well, wellness, issues to do with environment, social cultural factors, political factors, including issues to do with taxes. All these matters are issues that causes us to have instability in our mind. How then can we help one another to cope with matters that life is too hard today? Or when one is suffering from a disorder or a mental instability? One is to practice self-love, set goals, that you can achieve. Love on yourself. Number two, practice positive living. There are so many things that actually make us to think that we are not fit enough. We don't belong. We are outcasts. Would, but what do you say about yourself? When life issues are telling you, you can't make it, what are you telling yourself? Practice positive living by telling yourself, I can make it. I am good enough. I have what it takes to surmount whatever challenge it is. That positive words towards yourself will help a lot. Next, do exercises, physical exercises. You can distract your mind when issues are too many distract your mind by just going for a jog, just go for a walk, just engage in a physical exercise that helps you to have the mind be engaged differently. Eat well. Do you ever take concern of what you're eating? Balanced diet is key to you living well mentally. It contributes a lot. Practice gratitude. What you have is given to you. Be thankful. Say thank you that today you have come this far. Today you have school fees. Today you have what you have. Even if it is small compared to others. Just say thank you and be, live a life of gratitude. Be contented living within your means. This is one of the things that really, really, is a menace to many, living a contentment life. 
it is good and it is very helpful to the mind, to your feeling, to your thought patterns, to your behavior, to practice contentment. Say no to pressure. Many people would want to have you do as they do, move as they move. Say no. Abstain from pressures, from friends, but also from self. Someone say that the greatest enemy that we have is actually self. Say no to pressures that you can't mind. Uh, lastly, know God and trust in Him. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord and connect with the one who made you. He has a great purpose for your life. As we say, it is okay not to be okay, but remember, you have a great life, you have a great purpose in the one who made you. When we learn always to accept what we are going through, we began a long journey of living in wholeness of our mind, of our emotion, and of our behavior. Thank you.